Discovery Houston, we see you on energy approaching the heck. No changes to winds or weather. You are a nominal shoot deploy. Discovery copies nominal shoot. Four minutes, 30 seconds from touchdown. Commander Mark Polanski flying Discovery as he uh, begins the wide sweeping turn, a 330 degree left overhead turn, taking Discovery south of the Kennedy Space Center out over the water, out to the north, and then setting up for a final approach from the northwest. Time to touch down, three minutes, 25 seconds. The view as seen uh, by uh, pilot Bill Ophelein through his uh, heads up display. Discovery Houston, on at the 180. On at the 180. Four miles uh, in altitude, time to touch down two and a half minutes. Discovery Houston, on at the 90. On at the 90. A very smooth roll around the heading alignment circle, uh, 90 degrees before uh, Commander Mark Polanski lines up with the runway. Altitude, 15,000 feet. Houston, Discovery, we have the field in sight. Minute and a half from landing. Altitude 11,300 feet. Altitude 6,000 feet. The altitude on the head up display on the right, 1,800 feet.
beginning to uh, pre-flare, uh, setting up for uh, deployment of the landing gear at 300 feet. Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Touchdown. Discovery is rolling out at sunset on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 204 orbits, traveling 5.3 million miles. Discovery completing its 33rd mission and its seventh to the International Space Station. Roger, we'll stop. Discovery, you have a uh, building full of real folks back here in Florida, uh, Houston. Had a thrill to have you in Florida. Roman, to uh, you and your crew, and for L.A., uh, you and your crew, when you get a chance to see this tape, congratulations on uh, what was probably the most complex uh, assembly mission to date. Bravo Zulu.